Hey guys, Fat Daddy. Um, today I just wanted to. I'm at the office here. My greenhouse is smoking hot today, so I'm, I'm getting some paperwork done. I just finished transplanting some tomatoes. Um, I wanted to do a video today, go over nutrients if I can. It's a confusing subject. I get a lot of questions about it. Um, I'm by no means an instructor here, but <clears throat> we'll go over a uh, brief the different types, um, kind of what they're used for, and then we'll see if we can help you figure out which nutrients you use, and then I'll do another video, a separate video, um, going over the nutrients that I use and the reason that I use them. Um, but nutrients basically will come in two forms. You'll have granular or you'll have liquid. Um, and then each one of those two Types of nutrients can break down into several categories. Um, your granulars will break down into uh, soil-based or hydroponic. The same with your liquids. They can break down into soil-based or hydroponic. Um, each one of those categories can break into further categories. It gets pretty confusing pretty quick. <clears throat> Here we're going to go over hydroponic stuff. Your soil-based um, those are great if you're growing in the soil, but if you're growing in cocoa, um, perlite, or anything like that, um, hydrotin, anything like that, you don't want to use any soil base because they really, all they have is your NPK. They really don't have a lot of the micro and the macro nutrients that your plants are going to need. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because those are expected to be in your soil. So let's just kind of put soil-based um, nutrients off to the side for right now. Um, you can have um, granular hydroponic. You can have liquid hydroponic. Those break down into multiple pot um, granular and multiple pot liquids and ready to use or ready to mix concentrated. Um, so, again, that's going to be based on what size your system is. Um, if you have a couple of crap key tubs, you may want to buy the ready-to-use ready to use concentrates and just add it to your water to make whatever EC that you're looking for, or um, PPM, however you do it. Um, I use EC. Um, then you get into the pre that are ready to use. Those are if you have a small, um, you know, five-gallon system. You may want to just buy already mixed liquid or granulars and just use them. Um, so you can get pre-mixed ready-to-use. You can get pre-mixed concentrates. Or if, like I buy, I buy the granular, um, granular hydroponic multi-pot. Um, and we'll go over that in either in this video or in another video. Um, but what you want to do is you want to kind of figure out, like my system, I have two reservoirs, I have four systems in there, but two of the reservoirs are three to 500 gallons. I buy from Am Hydro in Cali, out in California. Um, not cheap stuff, but I mix it up in 30 gallon concentrate pails. So I buy uh, a 22 kilogram batch. So each batch of uh, your pot A and your pot B. Your pot A basically is just calcium nitrates 15500 and your pot B has basically everything else. It has your micros, your macros, your, your NPK, it has all that stuff. The only thing that is in the pot A is, um, is your nitrogen, basically. It's a 15... Five zero zero. Um, you will mix those in two different concentrate pails, and you can't mix the concentrates, or they will. You'll get an EC lockout, and they'll they'll actually chemically react with each other and 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 bond, and then the nutrients will not be available. Oops, sorry about that. The nutrients will not be available for you to for your plants to use. So uh, I use a granular two pot. You could use something like a master blend, which is, I think it's a three, um, a three eighteen thirty eight, or something. Um, 
I mean, you nothing is going to grow with that with that nitrogen that's that low. But you can buy um, calcium nitrate fifteen five zero zero and mix that as your pot A, and that would give you basically a uh, eighteen five. Uh, 1838 or something uh, which is a really nice fertilizer that works almost almost as good as the amhydro stuff that I'm using now um, and it's a lot cheaper um, but so go through your 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 system figure out how much nutrients you're going to need uh, it economically makes sense to buy it in granular form and mix it yourself into a concentrate but again if you need if you're growing in an IBC tote, you can use the master blend, you can use a calcium nitrate, and you need Epsom salt at that point. Um, I think that's magnesium, magnesium sulfate. Um, and you can mix your um, master blend and your um, calcium nitrate in equal quantities and then you would mix your um, your uh, Epsom salt agricultural Epsom salt too not the shit you soak your feet in um, you can mix that at 50 percent so I think I, when I was using that stuff um, in an IBC tote for 275 gallons of water I think it was 600 grams of um, calcium nitrate 600 grams of master blend and 300 grams of Epsom salt, and that'll give you a pretty a pretty decent. Um, that'll give you like an an 1838. That'll give you a pretty good fertilizer. Um, you can buy, also buy the liquids. I've never used them. Um, you could buy the liquid pot A's, pot B's, and a lot of times those are broken down into a fl a, a flowering and a vegetative growth. That's more for the cannabis industry. Um, I like to use, like I said, um, I like to use a two-pot granula. It's cheap or cheaper because um, shipping today kills you. It's the, the fertilizer isn't that expensive. It's the shipping. So you spend, I think it's $179 for a 22-kilogram box from Amhydro of my tomato formula, which is what, or my lettuce formula, sorry, which is what I use for my, my system. Um... And I think I, I bought four uh, four boxes, and they were, I think, $179 a, a box. And it was like uh, $984 with the shipping. It was just, you're paying like $500 for shipping. It's ridiculous today. So if you were, the granules, you don't have the water weight. You can mix it yourself with water when you get it, but you're not paying to ship the, the weight of all that water. So, um... If you have any questions on nutrients, again, I'm not a rocket science uh, scientist here. I just, I know what I use. I know what works. You've seen the videos of the greenhouse. The stuff is growing crazy. Um, I would go with a granular hydroponic mix. And again, don't forget, you can't use like a general fertilizer, um, a triple 10 or something like that. You're not going to have good growth. Your plants will be yellow. They won't grow well. That sort of li that fertilizer assumes that you have all the micros and the macros: um, iron, calcium, um, magnesium, um, all that stuff in the soil already. Copper, uh, boron. It expects that all that is in the soil, so it doesn't give you that. So your plants will will grow but they won't really reach their potential and they won't be really nutritious or colorful or really, really good looking plants. They're probably going to have a, a deficiency, an iron deficiency. They'll look yellow. Um, so stick with, spend the extra. It's a little more money, but spend the extra and get the hydroponic nutrients. Um, if you have a question about what you, um, you really don't know what is right for you, uh, feel free to shoot me a text. I mean, uh, uh, an email. I, I respond to them. Leave a comment, and um, I will get back to you. I'll do my best to try and help you figure it out. Um, 
like I said again, I'm not, I'm not a specialist at this. At, at this, um, I'm a commercial grower. I do this for a living. I've done this for commercially only since I retired a couple of years ago. Um, but I've been do I've been doing hydroponics for 40 years, 35, 38, 40 years. So I've probably made a lot of the same mistakes that you're going to make if you're starting in the, in this. Um, so shoot me, a, leave me a comment. Um, ask me any questions and I'll definitely get right back to you. All right. Tomorrow or one of these days, the next video will be on the nutrients that I use. I'll show you how I mix it um, and how my computers will dose it out. So we'll go over all of that. I'll try and get in a little more in depth with because those little uh, mini masters from Agrotech are not that expensive. I mean, the, the pump bank costs you a over eleven hundred bucks for the four four pumps, um, but the computer itself is only like five hundred bucks, and it's a couple of hundred bucks for your your all the sensors you need. But if nothing else, you can use that to monitor your system instead of using a handheld meter, um, and then manually dose. But if if you can save up the money, you definitely want to go with some sort of a system that'll monitor it 24 hours a day and um now i'm assuming they even have them i know they're more money but they even even agritech has them that are um wireless so they'll go on you can check them from your phone you can turn pumps on and off from from anywhere if you had an internet i didn't i didn't spend the money on those um i do it when i come in here for the extra thousand bucks i'll drive i'll drive the 20 minutes to get here um I'm I'm cheap, so I don't spend it if I don't have to. But um, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions on this, and we'll definitely go over it. All right? Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.